Stubby is a less than five armed brittle star that I rescued to give a good life while he hopefully regrows his legs. It's been about a week now and he seems to have become pretty good at hiding. Unfortunately, part of his arms were still falling off a bit for the first few days. Hopefully this is just from being in a new environment, but it could also be from stress or a lack of calcium. To attack this problem at both angles, I added some more rocks and some algae to give him lots of cover and some crushed coral to help leach more available calcium. I also started supplementing his diet with extra calcium artificially. To do this, I first had to crack an egg, wash and dry the shell, then bake it to ensure no harmful bacteria were present before pulverizing it into a fine powder. After this was done, a similar pulverization process was done with some crushed coral, ensuring adequate calcium availability. Now I have a good little calcium additive for Stubby and his other less able-bodied critter friends. I'll just have to keep extra attention on water chemistry and perform multiple water changes daily to ensure there isn't too much calcium. Today in the critter kitchen, I'm making Stubby's new diet of mysis, enriched brine shrimp, and a generous addition to my special leg growy backy powder. Batten bender. Stubby has been becoming more responsive to feedings over this past week, and today was no exception. He eagerly scooted around nibbling up his new food, unaware I spiked it with yummy calcium. Hopefully this will help with his color and mood so I can move him into a new home that's a bit bigger and more reflective of his personality. Follow for more updates.